so I have so I have some turkey hirschau sausage that's going to be cooking for with our collard greens so that's gonna just cook there is no oil in the pan so we're just going to allow these um, sausages to brown a little bit and add our collard greens to them and we'll bring you back later on to see that so we'll allow that to cook for for about five minutes so those sausages have cooked and I've added the collard greens to them. So now what we're gonna add is some pimentos. I'm just gonna pour that in there. And you see that's about one fourth of a jar that's left. I don't use very many, but it does add a nice flavor to the collard greens. And I know we're used to cooking those collard greens with fat back and here's some salt-free seasoning that I love. So we're just gonna add some of that to those greens. And we will allow them to go there. And we're gonna just do a dab of pepper. And there are just some things that I just cannot do without salt. So I'm gonna add a little salt, not very much, okay? We're gonna allow these greens to simmer. We're gonna stir this together. And I'm gonna cook my greens on low because see what happens to us a lot? We overcook our vegetables. And we cook all of the nutrition, nutritious vitamins and minerals that we're supposed to be getting from them. So this is our collard greens and they're gonna cook for about 20 minutes here in this stir fry pan and they're gonna be just as delicious if I was cooking fat bag and hog mold and everything else that we normally add to them that is not good for our health. So we're gonna just kind of stir this together. Collard greens are coming along really well. I am gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. Not a tablespoon, but a teaspoon. That would have been a bit too much, okay? At least for me anyway. So, you know, our mommy's taught us to Add sugar to these fresh collards. So I'm going to do that. So my tasters will be satisfied today. So they like to ask all the time, did you put sugar in the collards? If I'm cooking for my mom. She says the same thing. So I've added a teaspoon of sugar and we're going to continue to allow that to cook. And here is the last ingredient that we add to our collards, and that is one tablespoon of butter. I like to add them at the end so it'll be nice and give it that buttery taste. And just a few, one fourth cup of that chicken broth. And I always do that at the end of my collards cooking so that flavor will be lasting when it's time to go on our plates. Collard greens are still going great. I did add a little bit more salt. I did taste them and they needed a little bit more salt. Collard greens is something that I like well seasoned, okay? And I also added um, a little bit more of the chicken broth, okay? So I added a little bit more of that because I like a little juicy. My mom would get me if I had dry collards but everything is coming along really well. Yes, guys, so here's that meal. And we're gonna add our collard greens here. So if you wanna serve your meal, you have your Hawaiian pineapple chicken on the side, yellow rice collard greens. And look there, Cece's Kitchen. Yes, mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, this is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, I'm not saying this because I cooked it. It is just this good. Mmm. You stop recording now. Oh my God.